Hello, my name is Bill Shields, Chief Executive. Listening into Action is a programme that the Trust is undertaking where we ask frontline staff, and in fact staff throughout the organisation, to tell us what their concerns are, to tell us the things that they think aren't working well, and to tell us how they, working with us, can remove those barriers so that we can deliver really great patient care. We have uh, attempted this in the organisation in the past. Um, these issues are always quite difficult and what we need to do this time is to make sure that we genuinely commit, that means from the top of the organisation all the way through the organisation, that when the going gets tough we, we stick at the task because there will be times when um, we feel that we're not making the progress that we'd all like to see. Quite a number of people in the organisation have got um, a number of issues that they're concerned about. They go back some considerable time and only by coming to big conversations and entering into a discussion and a conversation in an open way with senior leaders in this organisation, can we hear what they've got to say? And that's the only way that we can act. Now, I, I really would encourage everybody to come along to those events. It might be um, a bit difficult and a bit challenging for people like me, but only by listening to them can we actually make those changes. I'm Sarah Lee, I'm the Listening into Action lead for the Trust. I think Listening into Action is um, a concept and a campaign about listening to our staff, making a change within the organisation, but involving and empowering staff to um, be involved in that change and to help drive that change with the engagement of managers. Hello, my name is Karen Watkins. I'm a consultant obstetrician and I'm a specialty lead of obstetrics and gynaecology. I become involved in listening to action because I really do believe that without listening to people that are closest to the patients, we're not going to be made, able to make the effective changes. I believe as a consultant, there are many things that we think are just common sense, good practice things that we should be doing within our own um, divisions that just seem such so difficult to make happen. So it might be something that's better for the patient care, cost effective, but actually to make that change is so difficult. It feels like you're jumping over so many hurdles that it puts you off and therefore you don't make those changes. Well, I would, I'd say to people, listening to action is trying to make all of that easier. Hello, my name is Sarah Roby and I work within the Estates Department and I'm currently acting as Head of Estate Development. I think it's really important that people come to the big conversations so they can share what the real problems within the organisation are. Unless we know and unless we hear from people directly what those issues are, then we really can't make a difference. Hello, my name is Ian Moyle, Clinical Matron at the Royal Cornwall Hospital. I hope that, that listening to action will engage all of our staff and use their passion and their knowledge to improve our services for the benefit of our patients. Well, success will look like a point in time when we achieve those things. It will look like um, a time when staff feel that they can talk about the good things in this organisation, when they can feel that we actually do listen to them. The, the clue is in the title, really. We are listening to them and we're going to act on what they say and we're, we're, we're going to look at all the barriers that get in the way of making staff really effective in what they do and help them to do what they want to do. People who work in healthcare have a calling in life, they have a vocation, they want to help people who are less well than they are and our job as the leaders in an organisation is to make that happen, not get in the way of that.